Hey friends, hey family, my name is Skylint, and I'm excited to bring you my list for the best upcoming PvP survival games. These are titles that you can jump online, play with a bunch of people, and uh, kill some people. Maybe, maybe make a team, maybe make a guild, a clan sort of thing. But, you know, you're gonna kill other clans' guilds. It's not really a cooperative focused experience, that's all I'm saying. These are titles that are very kind of polar opposite, in a way, to my last list, which was upcoming cooperative survival games. Yeah, 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 you can play with other friends and people, but for the most part, you're killing them, okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, that's the main prime objective inside of these titles, and a lot of the little mechanics that make up the world, the universe, and what you're actually playing inside of these titles is going to be toward that goal. So these tend to be a little bit more hardcore, a little bit more focused on competitive gameplay, and if that's not your style, that's cool. But these games do tend to be somewhat popular, and they can be fun to jump into, so yeah, maybe, I'm thinking. Let's jump into these games, let's give them a shot. Here's my most hype, upcoming PvP survival games. All right guys, uh, starting off the list, you know, I think putting a good foot forward here is gonna be a game called Worlds Adrift. Uh, this is the title that I'm super excited to talk about, uh, but maybe not so much to play at the moment. Uh, upcoming, right, but it's an early access game you can play right now, and I did play it, and I actually had a, a pretty interesting first look, but you might have noticed that it was a little bit empty. I basically didn't see another player, essentially. Like, I saw a, a couple ships in the distance. Anyways, let's talk about what this game is uh, potentially at its full potential. Uh, Worlds Adrift is a game where you actually build, configure your own flying machine things, uh, and then you go and, like, sky pirate around with other players. I guess it's kind of like Sea of Thieves, uh, but kind of mixed with Minecraft and in the frickin' sky with floating, uh, you know, islands and <clears throat> grappling hooks. Pretty cool. There's a couple of fauna, some a little bit of flora, but not 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 really. Uh, World of Drift is is mostly at the moment uh, a bunch of, like you know kill people kind of thing. Uh, that's 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 the gameplay, but not that many people. So we'll see how the game kind of uh, reconfigures itself, and we'll see if they're going to add in a little PVE VP, kind of mix it up a bit. And uh, I don't know. The game it's got potential. And if you look at the trailers, it's like, oh my god! But if you look at my first look, when I actually played the game, <clears throat> there's a little bit of dissonance there. That's all I'm saying. It's still a hype as hell genre, still a hype as hell game. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to say. It's early access, you can play it right now, so should you? I don't know. Debatable. Alright, next up on the list we have Escape from Tarkov, which maybe should be a little bit higher on the list, but it's a game that's more known. You guys are aware of this. And uh, generally, I do put like, you know, in, it's like a new list game, you know, game list. I think that newer games that we kind of know about should be a little bit lower on the list. Anyways, Worlds of Drift, that's why it's number five. Escape from Tarkov, number four, because we know about it. It's actually super popular. Uh, you can pre-order it now, and a lot of people are playing it. A lot of people are watching it. Streamers and YouTubers are kind of going ham with this game. And overall, I think if, if you're just getting acquainted with it, it seems to be Escape from Tarkov it appears to be just like the modern military sim of like, you know, survival PvP games. Uh, yeah, this is kind of branching off of obvi obviously like all these games are branching off of what DayZ kind of initially begun But uh, in the end, you know, it, it was less about the zombies and then you get a games that do focus on PvE Which I did a whole list on essentially and then you, you know, you have your arc survival evolved sure 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 But then you have the games that go in the opposite direction where it's like, you know, let's let's do modern military sim You know, just forget all those other mechanics add in true survival mechanics and then let's let's focus on that direction and escape from Tarkov seems to be the probably the the ideal that's that's upcoming at least of, of all these games generally you do have weird gimmicks zombies here and there There's gonna be a couple on this list even that are PvP still uh, but no this this game just seems like yeah Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally I totally see where they're coming from with the uh, you know the Daisy inspiration But then taking it up a notch and focusing and honing it on that one direction and making it as polished as possible at least that's the appearance, right? I mean, they have like really ridiculous uh, social media presence. There's some insane, like there's like a, like a mini film. It's like a 10 minute film called Raid that they did in their universe. I don't know, they're, they're just really pushing this game and it seems like just quality. It seems like quality, which is kind of generally not quite heard of in the entire survival game genre. So yeah, when it comes to PvP survival games, this game for Tarkov is probably a safe bet to, uh, you know, keep a lookout for. Coming in halfway on our list is Pandemic Express, which I almost bypassed because Panda Express the game. Now, Pandemic Express. Oh, as an aside, because the name reminds me, Train to Busan is an amazing movie. Like the video if you saw that movie. 
Anyways, Pandemic Express Zombie Escape is actually going to come early access. We could play it May 2nd this year. Fantastic stuff. It's probably going to be fun, probably going to be silly, probably going to be glitchy and ridiculous. It kind of looks like a source mod, and it definitely is inspired by those custom game modes. I don't know if you've ever played Infection and Halo, something akin to that. Uh, you know, we had Far Cry Predator, which maybe is somewhat of an inspiration as well. Pandemic Express is a PvP game where players are fighting each other. In an open world, open zone, you run around, loot, you know, try to survive if you're human. However, if you get infected, yes, players actually play as the zombies. Think DayZ, but players also play as the zombies. And I think that's kind of what, what they're going for, but it looks so much more cartoony, so much cheesier. You're like, you're like freaking, you do the ninja run as zombies. Okay, you're, you're freaking Naruto zombies up in here, okay? It's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Um, but yeah, no, uh, gimmicks like this, I love it. I love SCP, I love Left 4 Dead, sure. And I just, I really love asymmetrical multiplayer games. And, um, you know, if I do, if I do another list of asymmetrical multiplayer games, I'm, I'm certain that this is going to make the list. So yeah, Pandemic Express, guys. Um, don't let the name fool you. It's okay. Actually, it, it, no, the game look, does look pretty as, as cheesy as it is. But I think that this is going to be a pretty fun and sincerely engaging game. Yeah, number two on the list of Rue is going to be Population Zero. This is a title that's, uh, you know, sci-fi, you know, jump out into a whole new world, whole new universe, uh, kind of no man's sky it around. But it's really, really, really focused on the survival aspects, and it is a MMO proper or so proclaimed. A couple of games even on this list say so, Worlds Adrift, I barely saw that. Uh, you know, even number one as well potentially could be. So, you know, the games can reach high player counts, server counts, but we'll see if this game actually does that. But for the most part, it really reminds me of like Ark, maybe Survival Evolved, but in space. Uh, just just a little bit of inspiration there. Now, when it comes to the flora and fauna, I think that it's it's mostly going to be probably more a little bit more or less tame, but they are still they're kind of going for that ridiculous factor of sci-fi gadgetry, sci-fi, you know, monsters that you're going to be fighting, uh, sci-fi worlds and maybe physics. It might be just be a little bit more cartoon and extra than what we've seen from Atlas, uh, which is another uh, very influential <laughs> in, in a bad way uh, survival MMO. But Ark Survival Evolved. You know, that a lot of games are definitely going to take inspiration for that. So this title is probably somewhere in between. I actually wanted to put it on my co-op list because there is there is actually like creatures that you have to go tackle and fight. But versus something like Ark Survival Evolved, where the, the game really could totally focus on just killing those monsters. I really feel that this is a PvEVP game uh, where the environmental kills is really just to kind of sustain the guild, sustain the gameplay loop. And it's still mostly focused on the big team uh, fighting of and, and interweaving, you know, guilds. Uh, the conquest, maybe a little bit politics. I don't know, but it's in a sci-fi setting. So yeah, I guess, I guess maybe think Atlas in space, but, 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 hopefully a lot less clunky, but it is trying to be an MMO with all, you know, the base building and, and fighting and sci-fi shooting up that, that all these other non-MMOs can barely get right. So, you know, a little bit of weariness there, but still I'm going to put it at number two because it is trying to be ambitious. And you know what? Because I'm in the mood for a sci-fi survival game that's actually legitimately good and lives up to the hype. That's all. And finally, the number one game that I'm most excited for in this genre of upcoming survival games, for that focus on PvP, obviously, is gonna be Lost Oasis. Last Oasis is a game that um, when I first saw, like I literally, the very first moments that this trailer was playing, I was freaking out. I was literally at an event with a bunch of other MMO YouTubers and I was like, guys, have you seen this? And a lot of people were losing their poops, okay? Last Oasis is just a game that oozes a lot of character. Now, if you wanna know what the vehicles are inspired by, they're called Strand Beasts. I'm gonna put that on the screen. I'm even gonna leave some links of some videos of those in the comments below. They're kinetic sculptures, and there's tons of these out there. I mean, uh, debatably, you could even call a wind chime a kinetic sculpture, but these are freaking like monsters that are wind powered. So this is like a wind or wood punk, wind wood, woody wind punk type of game. I, I, I mistakenly call it steampunk, which I mean, at a glance, you could probably get that from this game. But anyways, it just has a lot of weird character to it, right? And the, the world setting and uh, maybe debatably some mechanics that actually overfloweth from the, uh, the, them the themality, I guess you could say, of Last Oasis makes the game very interesting to me because it, it forces players seemingly to be very nomadic, which is why literally everything is built with walking legs. Uh, everything, all the bases, the moving, walking, howls, castle looking things are, exist because players need to be nomadic, which 
If you've played a lot of survival games, you know that the game is either about just running in and looting real quick and, and leaving, which can be determined as nomadic. But generally, it's like you do that to sustain a base. You know, you have you have a home base or you just lone wolf it constantly. But this with moving guild bases and entire like, you know, players or guilds or clans moving through uh, swaths of land, uh, taking up the territory, uh, mowing it down, running through other players territory. There's supposed to be a lot of conflict with uh, how players move around the world. That's something that a lot of just general MMOs get really wrong all the time, even with territory conquest. So yeah, basically um, the idea is that the, the earth kind of stopped spinning. It just spins very, very slowly. So like the sun actually is just constantly raising the earth as it spins and, and people have to move uh, to stay out of the direct sun, um, which is pretty crazy. Hopefully that actually works in the game. I do have access, but there's NDA, so I'm not gonna play it uh, until I can allow myself a first impression proper because you know, I'm pure with that. But definitely, this is like the game, one of the games I'm most excited about, it, period. But when it comes to upcoming PvP survival games, this is my number one. And actually, it's 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 the game that I wanted to talk about, so that's why I made a list around it. So yeah, th there it is. Oh yeah, but th there's probably one thing that you, you saw in the trailer that I, I just want to reiterate one more time, because every time I have to, I have to. Um, grappling hooks. Okay, done. But that's gonna be the end of the list. Top five, there's only five. Five of them, I just said it. There's five. There's the number one, two, three, four, five. Top five upcoming PvP survival games. Um, but two of them have grappling hooks. That's kind of cool. Segway, I'm actually going to be doing a uh, sort of Ahoy-inspired video on grappling hooks. Their significance through history, how it affected, you know, video games and pop culture significance as well. So if you guys wanna see more longer-winded videos on really niche, weird, fun, nerdy stuff, I want to do those, but I'm going to need some help with the Patreon, with donations, things like that, because obviously YouTube doesn't pay the bills, even though I am a full-time YouTuber. So much love and thanks for that. And if you want to see me actually playing these games and buying these games and checking them out, while I do often get access to a lot of these, not always, I need money, I need access. So, you know, I guess I have to beg and I'm begging because, uh, you know, that's what we that's what we do here on YouTube, I guess now. Um, but I try to make it worth it. So hopefully this was a fun begging video. Hopefully you did have fun and continue to keep the hype alive. My name's Skylint, and I'll see you again next time.